Welcome to the Jacob's Well Done Show. Look who we have back. It's Grace. She took a week off. Mm -hmm. Worst decision of your life, am I right? You can be honest. It was Tears pretty are good. great, actually. I don't right. know. Around Wednesday, Thursday, just felt peaceful. Seriously, Kind though. of free, you know? It was, all right. <laughs> don't know what it was. All right, episode 11 of the Jacob's Well Done Show starts now. So today on the show, Grace and I are going to be debating a wide range of topics, um, a lot of them we haven't even seen before. So our producer slash camera guy, editor, uh, model, Tyler Norris, <laughs> he's actually uh, the one who does my voice. So I'm, it's actually his voice coming out right now. Isn't it great? He, he dubs over everything. Saskatchewan. Ah, <laughs> just tried to get him. All right, so here's how this is going to work. Tyler is going to read us the debate topic. And Grace and I are going to take turns choosing who gets to go first, um, picking which side of the debate we want to be on. And the other person has to automatically default to the opposing viewpoint. So we'll see how this works. So we need to choose which one of us is going to go first. Me. Let's just flip a coin. Do you okay. want to do that? Do you just... have a coin? Yeah, you, no, you got one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, I got a coin. Call it. Heads, Heads or tails? Heads. All right, Mr. Norris, what is our first topic? Stairs versus doors. As in, like, if you could only have one. Right, in your house. If you could you and you get to go first. Okay. If you could only have stairs or doors, which would you choose and why? I'd probably choose doors because they're one-level houses, and they're perfectly fine. And, yeah, you want privacy, so... That is the argument for doors, and now I have to take the opposing viewpoint, which is stairs. Stairs. Elevating the people of America since 1847. Houses also usually have windows, and so you can get in a window, so you don't need a door, but how are you going to get up to the second floor of your house? Not many of us can do that kind of a pull-up or have that sort of jumping ability. Yeah, not all of us. <laughs> Topic number, two. Topic number two. I think I'm ahead so far. Gravity, fact, or fiction. Okay, so gravity, fact, or fiction. I get to choose. So I'm going to go with fact. I believe that gravity does exist. Check this out. Oh, my word. <laughs> Did you see that? That was gravity. I rest my case. All right, I'm saying fiction. Wow. <laughs> Right. I was kind of scared by myself there. <clears throat> I'm saying fiction because, honestly, I think it's all conspiracy. Obama. Obama. <laughs> what does that have to do with gravity? That's mine. <laughs> next wow. one. All right. Okay, what's the next topic? Attics versus basements. Which one is scarier? Which is scarier, attics or basements? You get to go first. Okay. Um, basements, for sure. Because... Why? Just imagine, like an attic, you have to like pull down the door. It's like whatever. But a basement, you have to open it horizontally. And it's like... <laughs> that's my case. Just to clear this up, basements are scarier because you have to open the door horizontally as opposed to a pull vertical. down. <laughs> Makes yes. sense to me. All right. Well, this should be easy enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark night. You're all alone are in you your banged? house. You're all alone in your house, <laughs> Batman, and you hear a sound in your attic. Do you do what you should do, which is call the police and leave your home? No. You're in a movie, and so you feel compelled to seek out the creepy noise and find out if it is something that can kill you. And so you do. And it is. <laughs> and right, it kills <laughs> you. And that was really scary. As opposed to the horizontally swinging basement door. Were you totally creeped out so that whole time? I won. Right? No, two to one. <laughs> All right. Next topic, please. Italians versus New Yorkers. All right. Uh, you get to choose first. <clears throat> you going to choose New York? Yeah. Why? You have to say your argument in that accent. I can't do accents, but okay. <laughs> New Yorkers don't say they're Oz. They're what? Oz. Uh, did you say they're Oz? The Oz. 
You have to accent your Oz. And like so the New Wizard York, of Oz? New York, I don't know. That's my case. <laughs> well, uh, that was a pretty good, Grace. Italians, we, uh, we're like uh, so good at cooking, eh? And uh, we say in the mozzarella and the mucho gambino, some mealy. All of the time. So. And when we say hi, we go to. That's French. <laughs> a crap. <laughs> All right, two, two, moving on. Do you have another topic? <laughs> Rights for zombies. Should they have them? Or Rights for they the zombies. Them? Okay. I got this. Now this one is my turn. She's my turn, Grace. <laughs> I'm going to go with no. They should not have rights, and here's why. They had their chance, and they had rights when they were human, and now they are dead. And so they should not have any rights anymore. <clears throat> yeah, I'm saying yes, because they technically are still human. They're not aliens. Yeah, You know what true. I'm saying? Yeah. They're okay. dead humans. So... They're undead. No, they're... So they should have unrights. Un no, inhumane rights. So like, everything that, that we're not allowed to do to dogs, we can do to zombies. Exactly. No, I'm just talking about inhuman. Inhumane. I'm confused. Let's move on. <laughs> I get well, that point. Well, that's clearly three to three. It's three to three, so we need a tiebreaker. Yeah. Tyler, come up with a tiebreaker off the top of your head. Go. Round... Round versus oh, square, wow. um, and you you yeah. get to go first. Yeah, Kay. I am gonna go with square because round represents more full. If you know what I'm saying, thicker, maybe overweight. <laughs> Was that a fat joke? <laughs> no, no, no. You looked right at me in my reflection <laughs> in the lens. But square is like square, and it's what our <laughs> square is like square. <laughs> If you just have some emphasis, you can sell anything. Imagination. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Uh, I would like to propose a counter argument circle. How many times have you heard the phrase square of trust? Would you say none times? Once, actually, just now. She'll be coming square the mountain? No. She'll be coming round. The mountain. Have you heard that <laughs> popular song by the Beach Boys? Get a square, get a square, I get a square, I get a square, ooh, ooh, ooh a square. <laughs> no, that's not how it goes. There's a reason that people wear wedding rings. Gosh darn it, I lost my wedding ring about three weeks ago when I was playing on a playground in Wichita. I was with other people. Claire made me leave early. So I don't... Oh, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, my opponent has provided the perfect example. Why do you think these things aren't square? Right. You it's think it's because our fingers aren't square? No. Yes. If our fingers were square, we'd still wear round rings. Don't think Why? so. Why? Because it represents <laughs> continuity. It represents eternity. And so I say again, round. <clears throat> and I'm not going to go around and round with you about this, okay? I think round seven goes to me. To end the show today, we are going to do the cinnamon challenge, but better. You've seen the cinnamon challenge, but have you ever seen the espresso grounds challenge? So Grace and I are going to attempt to swallow a <clears throat> teaspoon of espresso grounds and I guess this is just a race. Yeah. I say well, you have to swallow it. Whoever swallows it first wins. Um, but if you cough any of it out, you're disqualified. And there's no rules of how you get it all down. You can't take a drink after you put it in no, your I mouth. Don't. What are you? What loophole are you trying to? Doesn't do? matter. <laughs> when do we start? <laughs> the espresso challenge starts in three, two, one. I'm putting it back in our soda ball. Oh no. That's terrible. I'm gonna try to swallow it. Here we mm. go. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Mm. I swallowed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I kinda oh. like 
I did it. Have you done it? <laughs> Woo! I feel amazing. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching the Jacob's Well Done Show this week, everybody. This has been episode 11. My name's Tyler, and this is Grace. We had a really great time today. I hope you had a great time, too, with the trivia and all the espresso grounds and all stuff like that. So tune in next week for episode number 12, okay? <laughs> Don't forget to go to jacobswelldone.com or facebook.com slash jacobswelldone or facebook.com slash I love the well or facebook.com slash Red Bull oh Energy Drinks. Gosh. That's what I'm going to go get right now. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> it went up my nose. <laughs>